My name is Jason Drummond, and I'm a DJ, a record producer. Um, I run a small independent record label called Wrong Music, and I curate music for uh, PS1 Contemporary Arts Center. I started playing in bands when I was about 13 and played in various punk rock bands in the Bay Area. Around 86 or so, I saw Wild Style. And um, then I saw Christian Markley, pretty well-known New York artist who did this turntablism thing with uh, like a bunch of like school phonographs with the volume knob and the speaker. And he had like paint stripes to create rhythms. And I saw that in Wild Style in the same month. And I think I, you know, within a year I had sold my guitar and kind of moved on. I think of DJing as being a lot like curating art. You know, the musicians that create the records are the artists. And you sort of, when you curate an art show, you pick all these pieces of art that different people have created and put them together and kind of give them a context to where the sum of the parts is greater than that whole would be without that same frame of reference. And when I'm DJing, I try to do the same thing and bring together music that is great on its own, but when you put it all together, it's made even better. PS1's always been sort of a center for forward thinking in regards to art. It's one of the premier stages for a lot of, a lot of music and art that's sometimes overlooked, and it's a place where it can really be put in center stage. A lot of things are sort of left on the fringe a lot of the time. And I think it's important also because PS1's a place where you can see very well-known and established artists right next to underknown and emerging artists that maybe you've never heard of before. And so it's sort of a place that kind of brings, you know, the old and the new together. And playing at PS1 outside, it's, there's not that many great outdoor places to play in New York. And it's, it's really special because it sort of has the feeling of like, you know, the biggest block party you've ever seen. And for me, it's really romantically New York, where the DJ set up on the top of the stairs, you see the seven train roll by, you know, about every seven or eight minutes. And, um, you know, you definitely really know that you're in New York and it feels good. Working at the museum is a big influence, just getting to work with so many different creative people with really fresh ideas. I think it's given me a little bit more freedom to, you know, maybe just having that example and, you know, being more in touch with what I really appreciate and what, you know, tuning into my own taste a little more. It's given me a little more, made me feel a little more free just to do things my own way. Taste to me is defined by the ability to discriminate between the ordinary and the extraordinary. The ability to pick up kind of subtle nuances in things that sometimes are missed. I'm always looking for originality and integrity, and, but I also appreciate tradition at times as well, and people that really get behind what they're doing and really put a lot of passion into it. I think that's what really, you know, inspires me or what I notice the most and what, what kind of turns me on.